All right, the Indiana State men's basketball team is having an incredible season, an impressive 10-1 record for a team that is fun to watch. They play together and support each other. Jen Thompson joins us now and tells me it's not just the winning team that's fun to watch. Right, Jen? That's right, Mike. If you've been to an ISU game this season, it feels different. The Sycamores are on a nine-game winning streak, the longest since the 78-79 season, back when Larry Bird was here. Yes, rallying around a talented team of awesome guys feels good, but the excitement coming from a packed student section is making a huge difference in the atmosphere of the Holman Center for everyone in attendance. You can feel the energy change when you walk into the building. The Tammy Shike, ISU Spirit Squad coach, recalls back in 2015, the forest was big and outstanding. <laughs> but as leaders graduated and moved on, the student section dwindled, and Shike complained. Fast forward to 2021, athletic director Sherard Klinksales told Shike, It's yours, so see what you can do with it. And I said, let's go, hold my frozen Coke, we'll get this done. That first year, Shike said it was all about learning what the students wanted. Second year, I found some outstanding humans that then became our president and our co-president and a group that really wanted to be invested. Nicholas Powers, who just graduated Saturday and is now considered an alumni president of the Forest Organization, said that's when the forest started growing. So we definitely try and bring the energy. So when I took it over about a year and a half ago, we had about 50 members grown to about 1,200 members now today. Our students are invested. They're having a good time. The athletes love it as well. So being a part of something at a university makes you really own the university, and that I think we've done. What does it feel like to be part of the forest? A lot of energy and excitement, especially on our great win streak like we are now, and we got a lot of interaction with the student athletes as well, and then maybe, you know, chirping the other team, the other coach. Current forest president Sarah Kenzer agrees. There's so much energy. We're so close to the play. They'll look out into the forest and they'll wave hi to us or, you know, they'll point at us because we're cheering them on. Shike said there were many times in prior years where the Holman Center felt very big and very quiet. Which is hard for the athletes as well because it's their home court and it didn't feel like home court advantage. So they walk in there now to this raucous kids having a good time. Their peers it's made a difference in the way they play. And as for the members of the forest? That gives them sweat equity in the university, right? It's one thing to go go, take the classes and leave, but this makes them a part and I think it will make them a part for the rest of their lives. I'll always be proud to be a Sycamore, I'll always be tied to this university. I don't think that will ever change or go away and I'll always be coming back uh, for games here. Okay, and here's your chance to be part of the forest at tomorrow night's game. Most of the students will be home for Christmas break, so the university has opened the student section for the first 100 community members. The seats are just $10 when purchased with the promo code FOREST. Mike, filling in for these students won't be easy, especially after those guys dressed in full toga costumes last week and nailed the three-point shot and the half-court shot um, for awesome prizes. But my family and I will be there doing our best, cheering loud and proud for our sycamores all right maybe jesse and i should get on our toga and go there but we got to work tomorrow so we'll we'll let you do that all right jen